second uh, type of uh, normalization how we can normalize these uh, nested vectors actually so we talked about uh, one way of doing it right we will have a multi level normalization component in the graph right so like we have discussed uh, like uh, let's say we have vectors and then input if we have vector then what we can do is normalize we can pass from the normalize so if we label it as normalize label 1 then again normalize level 2 then again normalize level 3 and then we will have a scalar output scalar data element output okay output this we can do like okay three levels so okay if we have three dimension then three level otherwise there if you have two dimension there are two levels are enough if you have one dimension one is enough okay so let's say we have we talk about little complex and uh, another way of doing normalization okay so let's say we will have a, this type of uh, if we need to construct this uh, kind of nested vector so what we are going to do so i have taken one example okay if uh, for example for example we need to construct this uh, type of vector okay so this is a uh, sim single simple actually oval 1 level 1 level 2 level 3 this is the same example so in here we have six element i have taken four element okay so this is the also a three dimension vector okay so within a vector there is a record actually there is no scalar element that is a comp uh, composite element so or you can talk about a little complex compound data type Uh, within the uh, as an element of vector okay so if you look at it right in the re within the reformat this is a reformat function so in the reformat i have constructed it so begin end and out dot level 1 so this is my output port s actually so out dot level 1 level 1 is the um, uh, the first level of vectors level 2 is second level of vector level 3 is the third level of vector so level 1 have has three uh, two element of level 2 or level 2 has three element of level 3 and level 3 has a four element of scalar type which is string 1 so i have a string 1 right a b c so one byte strings basically so if i need to construct this kind of you know uh, vector though then i need to uh, uh, do like this so i have taken first uh, level of vector outermost okay so that is that i am assigning in the level 1 because my data output data type is this type this is my output port okay so in level 1 i am having a vector so what is this vector this vector is having two element okay of type level 2 so level 1 having two elements of level 2 type so within the vector i am having record of level 2 type so there will be two record of level 2 type okay so this is what i have done so this is my record one which is finishing over here this comma this and this okay maybe i can expand or maybe zoom it i'm um, zooming out zooming in okay so maybe you can see clearly now so first level of vector is containing two elements of record type okay this is my vector and this is first uh, record this is finishing this is second record so there are two elements okay of level 2 within the level 1 then again in the level 2 what is this in level 2 level 2 having four element of level 3 type so four element of level 3 type Uh, sorry three element of level three type right so three element i have taken one two and three so there are three element right one two three that i have taken okay of level three this is level three level three level three level three is also a record type 
okay so three records i have taken of level 3 which is which will uh, uh, be comprising of level 3 okay which becomes the level 2 right and now i have reached into the level 3 so what is the level 3 level 3 is the having four element of scalar type string 1 so level 3 so each level 3 will have a vector of six element okay is containing a record of singular scalar data type so record vowel 1 a record vowel b record vowel c and record vowel d so there are four elements four records within this vector which is uh, which is uh, under the level 3 so similarly there will be a three this kind of three makes the level 2 okay and two types of level 2 makes the level 1 right four type uh, sorry four singular elements makes level 3 four singular elements makes level 3 okay and three level 3 makes level 2 three three level 3 makes level 2 right here also three level uh three of level 3 max level 2 right and uh, two of level 2 max level 1 two of this one and this one two of level 2 max level 1 so this is how we construct it uh, kind of carefully so what is happening over here is you know we because inside element is uh, so everything is in rec uh, record actually which is uh and encapsulated by vector so finally this is the record because i am uh, putting into the output port so this has to be encapsulated into the, into the record format right so there is a record at end okay but within that there are vectors okay so what is happening is this level 2 is a vector basically of having two element but that is uh, that is the made up of record basically so therefore i am using this record construct here okay while assigning record level 2 then again vector vector is having record so then again also vector is having record so basically it is in record then vector record then vector record then vector so this is how we construct uh, you know uh, this uh, multi level vector actually if you need to do it So once we read it into the, this kind of vector, okay, uh, this kind of uh, you know multi-level, uh, multi-dimension vector. So one more type of normalization is like uh, what we can do is somehow we can uh, we can denormalize it using the one normalized uh, component. Okay, what you could do is like let's say we have read this. Okay, now what we can do is like we can do uh, we can expand it in the single this one we can make it a single dimension uh, vector so every vector can be converted into a single dimension vector because every element of a vector is a same type so there will there won't be you know one is a, you know 2d uh, kind of uh, uh, element sorry one is a two byte string element one could be another you know uh, decimal type or integer type it cannot happen so single every element of a, a vector will have a same type so if we have a same type then then we can always construct it uh, a single dimension uh, vector so what what we can do is we can uh, expand it is in a single dimension vector and then we can do in we can pass it from the you know we can reinterpret reinterpret Pret it. So I have what I have done is I have taken the global variable, which is a single dimension vector of the same type. You know, okay. String string one one byte string is the element type. Okay, that as I have uh, you know initialized with the null values, you know default values, and then length function I am populating this vector. I am reinterpreting this interpreting actually. So my I have taken this. Uh, this this one this can be reinterpreted as using this reinterpret function reinterpretation happens uh, within the length function and this level one right which i have read from this one uh, 
can be converted into the single dimension vector of 24 elements okay then this length function is uh, calculating the length of my vector entire vector because it is in single dimension so that 24 will be the output of this length of vector uh, function okay and then i can pass this uh, you know in the non normalized using index i can uh, i can output uh, this uh, so output port will have a single scalar type okay string one one byte string so all the 24 elements would be uh, written as an output this is also one way of uh, you know normalizing normalizing uh, this one or you can create a uh, multi level nor uh, normalization also right depending upon the requirement sometimes we uh, have to create a, only a single level of normalization so you can opt out using the uh, earlier uh, method right we have taken multi level normalization right in earlier video so that you can also apply or if we have to go to the uh, you know uh, to the level of uh, scalar type you know all the dimension need to be omitted out then you can have you know this kind of uh, 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 creating a one dimension array and then you can convert uh, you can create the normalization you can remove all the you know dimension and can have a singular element okay so thank you so much please subscribe my channel and we can have a multi more advanced topic discussion in coming videos thank you